Okay. Rolling! Okay, cool. <clears throat> mein Hi everyone and welcome back to Wine Crush Wednesday. I'm your hostess with the leastess, Rose. I'm so excited today. Um, I have a very special guest. Last week, everybody really loved when I had uh, my sister Laguna. Last week. But this week, I wanted to switch things up and get somebody with a brain. So we are going to... <laughs> Please welcome to the set one of my absolute greatest friends and comrades for years. And she is just as much of a piece of shit as I am. Uh, please welcome Courtney Rada. Oh my God. So um uh, anyway, everyone, this is Courtney, my Hi. friend. How are you, Courtney? I'm so incredible. You're incredible? Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, you look mediocre. But... <laughs> no, you look gorgeous. Courtney is one of my favorite people because she is what is commonly referred to as a lipstick lesbian. However, the only lipstick she wore this week was her girlfriend's all over her face at a yeah. party. <laughs> and I am the one who told her. She, I saw her outside and I was like, hey! And she was like, hey! And literally it was like, it just, as though she... No, you actually straight up came up to me and went, do you have a nosebleed? And I was like... <laughs> No, I don't think so. <laughs> and but so I was like, well, let's change that. I wouldn't say I'm a lipstick lesbian. I would say I'm more like a chapstick lesbian. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we are both uh, really gorgeous, and we are both men, and that is exciting for me. Uh, so Courtney, what do you do in this life? Tell um, everyone. I am a uh, comedian and host. Um, ew, I'm not even funny. Fuck. Sorry. Can you say fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could say lots of shit. Cut. <laughs> I host a show for the Food Network. The Food Network, whoa. So okay. as a as a thin person, what is it like to be employed by, um, you Thank know, you. a, I was talking about myself. Uh, oh. What is it like to be employed, <laughs> self-employed? Uh, well, Rose. So it's called Carnivorous. Carnivorous. So it's, ooh, it's um, very ironic for a lesbian to have a show about eating meat. Yeah. Here we are. When it premiered, Courtney had a uh, viewing party. You came as me. And I came and I hosted it dressed as Courtney. So obviously it was the ugliest I've ever looked. <laughs> I look really pretty. You did, but actually, oh, but I was Courtney in ten years, so I had huge fake tits and and bangs. We can like make a what background. What is the background gonna be? Well, I don't know. What I'm gonna be like chickens, I, jelly beans. <laughs> so okay, we usually test out wine and, and review wines on this uh, program, mm. but uh, Courtney and I actually used to work at a bar together in New York City called Harlem Public. Yes, that's how we met mm -hmm. years ago. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Give or take. Um, is there footage of, uh, can we, can we show footage of like, yeah. um, what do we, what do we, what footage do we have to um, refer back to? Us though? being really good employees. <laughs> if we can get, if we can get, there was one time where, so Courtney and I were like, like we became the best of friends working there. She was a bartender and I was a server. And sometimes by the grace of the queer gods, we were able to close the bar together and absolutely nothing would get done. Why do I still have shit on my chest? You've He's got a little leader. I'm the Um, it was, I'm sure whoever opened the next morning was like fucking furious. They were like, why is there 50 cents in the yeah. cash register? And we were like, well, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Courtney asked if when we did this together, we review not wine, but our favorite uh, spirit, which is the Ghost of Christmas Past. Um, <laughs> so what, what is it? What's your favorite? Oh. Mezcal, that's Mezcal. right. Mezcal, the, the titu. We came up with a, a name, a, a cocktail, and we named it the titu, which I don't think means anything, uh, but um, it's okay because some- It means something to us. It means something to us. I hear people say titu, so sweet. Um, we had another cocktail called the Squirt of Emily, which, I mean, that means something different now, but- <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, it had mezcal in it. I had Courtney uh, actually get some ingredients. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I had her make some T2s. All right, so um, <laughs> let's like have a little taste of this. Okay, great. So we got to taste the rim, which on the rim we have, ta have to just be like tahine. Sponsored by Ines Espinosa's father, Eddie Espinosa. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie 53. And no, I'm not, I'm not wearing nails today. I am being a real woman today. Okay, so cheers. Cheers. Ew, it's like crusty. That's like disgusting. I did not taste good. Oh, it tastes like- Oh, it's like really bad. Ew. What does it taste like? Um, Give me visuals. I'll, I'll put them up in the background. Oh, yeah. um. Yeah, what is that? Um, like salt that's under a couch cushion. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble finding that image on Google, <laughs> but uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll take it myself. Wait, let's just do a set. Okay.
What's wrong with this? Mein Waschwender Day!